In this class, we are going to look at how to create an integration instance or how to get a access to integration instance for learning purpose that is in case we don't have a credit card to create Oracle Cloud account. So we'll look at in detail without having a credit card how can we get an integration instance of our own and learn integration. In order to get the integration instance for free we need to log into this learn.oracle.com under the courses offered under Oracle Cloud subscription. There is an option to get a lab instance for learning integrations in Oracle integrations. I will show you in detail how to do that. So like this we can learn integration concepts for free that is without needing a credit card or without having a Oracle Cloud account of our own. Let's now look in detail how to do this. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on signing up for free Oracle Cloud promotion account. That is nothing but getting Oracle free tier account for 30 days. Even though this is a free account, if you scroll down and check the documentation, there is a step wherein we have to add payment verification method via credit card. Even though the verification method charges us a $1 or so for verifying and also it refunds back the amount deducted. Now the question will arise, suppose if we don't have a credit card, if we are students, or we are a professional and we don't hold a credit card. Now, how can we get the free tier account and create an integration instance? So, we'll look at this now. You need to Google just learn.oracle.com. Even if you remove this HTTPS, that's fine. Just Google learn.oracle.com. There is this hyperlink that is Oracle Cloud Learning Subscription. Also, you can verify with the URL learn.oracle.com OLS user portal. Click on this. It will take you to the university. Welcome to your Oracle learning page. Click on sign in. If you don't have Oracle account, you need to create one in order to proceed. I am already having an account. I will log in with the details. I have populated details that is username and password. Upon filling those details, click on sign in. You will land into welcome your learning. So here, I am seeing Oracle Cloud Learning subscription over here. If you don't see, just you have to scroll down and click on this go for Oracle Cloud subscription learning. Let me close this notification. It will open up this Oracle Cloud infrastructure learning subscription page. Once you landed into this page, click on this courses. So it will open up the courses page, all the courses available in learning subscription. Here in the search, we have to search for integration. Here you will see application integration on Oracle Cloud. Click on this. It will open up the course content. So once the course content page opens up, we need to click on this lab section. Click on the lab. Here there is an option to request your lab. Want to perform hands-on activities? Get started by requesting your lab. We need to click on this request lab. After that, your lab will take 20 minutes to build. Would you like to continue? This message will come up. We need to click on build lab. So you will receive an email when your lab is ready. Let's check whether we got any email now. Once your lab is ready, you will get a second email. Post that only you will be able to see all the details, login details in order to access the integration instance over here. So after this lab section, there will be one more section, access your lab, it will come up and all the details will be there like the URL, username, password, database, all the necessary instances details like username, password of Fusion and all database, FTP, all those things will come up, whichever is required in order to learn integration as part of this course. So and that should be sufficient in order to learn the core concepts and also the basics of integrations. Let's now check our email if we got a confirmation that we have requested a lab or not. As you can see, we have received an email wherein we have requested for an application integration on Oracle Cloud course, a lab that is from duration 2nd of June 2022 to June 4, 2022. I'm recording this video on 2nd June 2022. Let's wait for a couple of minutes so that it will create an instance for us and then we'll continue. After waiting for 15 minutes, we have received an email from Oracle. That is to inform that our lab environment is now ready. As we had applied for the lab instance from within the course that is application integration on Oracle Cloud. So we have got the 
lab booked from 2nd June 2022 to 4th of June 2022. If we are unable to complete our course within the period of two days, there is an option to extend the lab as well. So it will be extended by two days. So like this, we can extend the lab for two, two days. So now let's head to the course and check how we can access the details. Here we need to click on the refresh button on your browser. So under request your lab, here you are seeing an option to release the lab. If you want to release the lab, we can click on this release lab so that the lab will be released and you won't be able to access the instance. And also if you read over here, if you need more time to complete the hands-on activities, you can extend your lab environment on 4th of June 2022 before 18 hours. That is by clicking on extend lab button. As of now, we are not seeing that lab because I am recording this video on 2nd June 2022. There will be a button enabled over here that is with name extend lab on 4th of June 2022. That is on the last day of lab environment. Now, if you see, there is a section called as access your lab. Here you are having almost all the details how you have to access the instance. I will copy everything from here into notepad and I will walk you through the details. I have copied all the details from that access your lab section to this notepad. Here there is a short description how we can access the lab instances. We can go over to this details. First credential is for the my services from cloud portal. We can use this username and the password. I have masked the password. But in your access your lab section, you will have the password which is provided to you without mask. So you can make use of this at your first login. It will ask you to change the password. You can change your password. Subsequent logins, you can use the new password to login. This will be your username and this will be a password. Also, if you want to build an integration with CRM, HCM and other stuff in Fusion Cloud, you can make use of the passwords and the username provided over here. Also, there is a right now instance Wisdel provided and also the username and password. You can make use of this and build your integrations with right now for learning purpose. Now, the actual URL that is for logging into your Oracle integration cloud instance is provided over here. You can make use of this URL and the username and password. We can make use of this. The username will be this one and the password will be if you are using for the first time, then it will be the password as this one provided by access your lab section. If you have changed your password by logging into over here, then it will be the password what you have provided. Also, there is a ATP database instance provision for you. We can make use of this. The username and password will be admin for this. If it is not provided over here in this section, then you can use username as admin and the password will be welcome 1234. Also, the FTP details will be provided. FTP details, I have changed the IP address, but you will get the IP address actual and access your lab section and the username and password will be shared. So with the help of FTP adapter, database adapter, we can build integrations for learning how we can build an integration for database FTP adapter right now and Oracle SaaS that is Fusion Cloud. So like this, we can create a Oracle integration instance. Even if we are not having credit cards, this will be a very useful if you are a student or a university pass out or you are just looking for a career in Oracle integration, you can make use of this. Also, if you are a professional and if you are not holding a credit card, then this will be an ideal way to get an instance for Oracle integration.